Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel which is the build 23570. In this build we have a few improvements for the Windows 11 operating system and also some fixes and we're gonna try to cover them all in this video. If you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by CDKs.top. CDK Case.top is a platform where you can get Windows and Office licenses at a very good price. On this platform, you can get Windows 10 Pro licenses at the very good price of just $14 and the Windows 11 Pro license at just $19 when you use the coupon code from the description. To activate the license, all you need to do is to go into the settings app and then search for activation, then click on change product key and insert the license you receive from CDKs.top. Check out the great deals from CDKs.top in the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon code. Regarding Copilot and Windows, Copilot and Windows can now be used across multiple monitors. Simply press the Copilot button on the taskbar on whichever monitor you want Copilot to show on or use the Windows plus C shortcut to show Copilot on the last monitor that it was visible on. If you are using a keyboard, you can use the Windows plus T keyboard shortcut to put the keyboard focus on the taskbar and navigate to the Copilot taskbar button to show Copilot on any monitor. Also, as spotted by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter, whenever you have a certain window that gets in the way of Copilot, Pilot, we will have a nice little animation that will move over the window from Windows Copilot. As you can see, it's a pretty nice animation and it integrates better this new transition whenever you are opening Copilot. I think this is pretty good. Hopefully, this won't cause any lags or any more resource usage, but it's looking pretty good other than that. The Xbox Game Bar will now show as just Game Bar under the Start menu and also in Settings, Apps, Installed Apps. This change will come through a Game Bar update via the Microsoft Store. So just don't forget to update also through the Microsoft Store if you want to get this new change. And this is basically related to new changes and improvements. We also have a few fixes related to the File Explorer. Microsoft fixed a few issues which could lead to hangs when launching File Explorer. Related to the Start Menu, Microsoft fixed an issue where apps sometimes weren't sorted into the correct location in the Start Menu All Apps list when using the Japanese display language. Related to the search on the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an underlying search crash in the last few builds. And also inside the Settings app, they fixed an issue where home was unexpectedly showing some users that there was NAN percentage storage left. We also have a few known issues related to Windows Copilot. Some Windows insiders in the dev channel and global markets where Copilot and Windows is available in preview who are on the home edition of Windows 11 insider preview builds may notice that Copilot and Windows has disappeared from the taskbar. Microsoft is working on resolving this in a future flight. And also when first launching or after refreshing Copilot and Windows while using voice access, you will need to use show grid commands to click in the ask me anything box for the first time. So this is all there is to it to the latest dev channel build 23570. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.